<laughs> and I wanted to talk to you about uh, or ask you about the sh uh, sage method. What is that? Because that I was like, I love that sage method. <laughs> it's so cool. I, yeah, that is the that's the course. That's so the course. Um, that well, probably should have said the title of the course. But yeah, that's the that's the course. And it's it's interesting because it's seven weeks in length. And people say, well, that's a lot. And I'm like, yeah, but I kind of took like a year or two and condensed it down, right? Yeah. So everything that I dragged my feet through, I've kind of condensed down into an organized format for, for all future students, which is great. But you really do need the seven weeks. You do need it because it's not going to help you to be overwhelmed. Um, it's There's so much in the course, but if you were to do it in a couple of days, it would just it wouldn't all sink in in a line, right? Mm -hmm. So the course is, is, it starts with the first two weeks of kind of inviting you into understanding yourself and patterns. And then the middle weeks are really the adjustment pieces. And then it moves into how intuition works. Here are our different experiments. Because a couple other blocks that people have is that they they see, and I understand this, I deeply understand this, but pop culture has invited them to see intuition happening in front of them with someone else. And then they think that's how it should work for them. And so they try it the same way and then it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And the course really holds you in the space of saying you're unique, your personality is unique. Your experience throughout your life is different than anyone else's. I mean, Gina, you just expressed a very powerful experience that not everyone goes through, right? We all have that. And so your intuition is going to flow kind of complementary to who you are. And so the course holds you in these different types of cool, fun experiment type places so you can kind of play around with it and go, oh, okay, it works like this for me. It doesn't work like that for me. And the other thing is that I, I try to tell anyone that would listen, <laughs> everyone is intuitive. Mm -hmm. Everyone is intuitive. I know that it became um, very common for people to say, oh, you have the gift. And I people will say that to me, right? And I'm hoping that soon we can all see that it's not that one person has the gift. It's that years back, like you were talking about your relatives, years back, one person had the courage to say, I'm intuitive. We all are. We all have very strong intuition, but it's been a little bit sensationalized in some aspects. And then in other aspects, it's been kind of blocked and poo-pooed, you know? So I'm hoping everyone kind of can give themselves the space to say, you know what, I'm going to trust this and see what happens because it's the sixth sense. We all have it. Yeah. It's so funny because even with my sister, we'll be like driving or whatever. And normally we'll say like a little prayer before we take a long trip somewhere. And then like in my head, I was thinking something so, oh, we should probably say a, a prayer before we, we head out. Huh? I said, I was just thinking that in my head. I said, she's like, oh, yeah, well, we're communicating telepathically now. And it's always been like that with our family. Like, my mom, everything's like, I'm thinking something and she says it vice versa. <laughs> it's it's yeah, so it's, funny. I love this. When I first opened up, it was so long ago that, that like the big shows hadn't come out like medium and ghost whisper and stuff like that. So a lot of people still didn't know what a medium was. And I would run into someone and they'd say, Hey, what do you do for a living? You know? And I, and I would say I'm a medium. And most of the time they would say, what is that? Because it was still kind of underground when I came out and <laughs> when I came out into the medium world. And I would tell them, and uh, whenever they would tell me they were skeptic, they would say, they would all, always follow it up with, but there was this one time and everyone has a one time, there was this one time, but then we've got that umbrella that's over us that says, yeah, but this person's special and this one isn't. And it's, it's actually not the case. So it, we get to look back like you just did and like, look at how you interact with family and the people you're closest to. And then you start to really look at it and go, yeah, there's a lot more intuition going on than I, than I paid attention to or that I realized. And that's really exciting for me. It's really exciting because your whole life changes when you start listening to your intuition. 
Oh, it does. And even people's titles have like intuitive, for example, like intuitive business coach, intuitive, uh, holistic, uh, uh, eating coach or something like yeah. that. I was like, it's so neat. I'm like, and I love that because it, it draws me in. I'm like, Ooh, intuitive. They must know. <laughs> yes. must know. You got that vibe. Yeah. I got that. And, vibe. So I love that. I would love it if we just got to that point where somebody saying they're an intuitive life coach versus like a strategic life coach. You know, and then we understand the difference between the two that, that sometimes you need a strategic life coach that can look at everything and go, okay, let's shift your strategy. Cause logically we know that this, this, and this, whereas the intuitive one goes, well, let's sit and see how we feel about the direction. That's really, it's a really exciting time. It's really exciting to see a lot more people using it and realizing, oh, I do have it. It is strong. <laughs> 